we are doing a quick little flip through of the rest of my 2022 planner. This is going to be where she lives. She needs some kind of cover, but not today. Also, I'm going to roll tape this so because I wanted to have like a front section that was a blank piece of paper versus this page here. So we're just going to sticky tape it on like so and I just have a bunch of random stickers here I'll probably finish decorating this with some like more stickers but these are just ones that I had laying around so let's go ahead and flip through I do have my planner in a print pression uh, SPC edit planner this one was exclusive to my shop and this one's no longer available we do have like a hot pink one which I think I'm going to house one of my um, planners in for next year in so beautiful we have that in shop and then kane i think has a couple of other ones with silver hardware in his shop as well my inserts are from print impression as well i designed them with kane and then i think that that's all of the like other things but let's go ahead and get into it i have six months in here i like to keep six months in here because i feel like 12 months is just too much so like double this i need also like a back thing oh there's too much for me so First kit here, this was a mystery last year, and I did pair it with gold and champagne lights mixed metal. I also do have Plana Hannah underlays in the background. Those are in gold, and then there is the champagne lights bougie boxes underneath it. Obsessed with this spread. I love the colors. I cannot wait to reformat this. I'll probably save it for a couple years, but I will definitely reuse it. Ugh, it's so good. I don't really know what was going on. I guess two weeks to Disneyland. It was Kane's birthday this week. We were watching Umbrella Academy. The boys got vaccinated on this day. Yeah, I was working out. I haven't been doing that for a while, but you know, we'll get back to it. Then over here, we have the um, Captain Jack kit, which is exclusive art. Both of these have been exclusive art so far. This one's not in shop because it's a mystery, but it will come to shop, and this one still is in shop. I did pair this with matte bronze, matte silver. I think I had a matte bronze, matte silver. I don't remember if it was like shimmer foil. Yeah, shimmer foil bundle. And then I used the Pirates like map underlays from Planet. I don't think it looks so cute, and I love this bottom washi being the thick strip. This spread is so, so, so beautiful. And we left for Disneyland on the same thought. So I thought it'd be cute to use a like Disney-esque spread. And this was Lila's seven months. Then this week we were in Disneyland, which I decided to use this kit, which is I think a little bit, or maybe I reformatted it. I was like, it might've been a little older, but we did get to go to the like Avenger campus and the Spider-Man ride was actually my favorite ride that we went on that was newer. I did use the Lavender Hollow Hollow Mixed Metal, which I'm actually going to do something very similar for to this in a spread coming up for Disney, which is totally wild that I'm going to be doing kind of like Park Hopper Mixed Metal again. But I just love the way that this turned out. The boys did get a little sick after this one, though. Then I use this Crest Press Kit. I switched this out, I'm pretty sure, because this was a week from HE Double Hockey Sticks. So Nick was sick, and I was super worried about it. He was having, like, heart issues. Like, well, chest issues, which he has, like, a heart, genetic heart condition, I guess. So we were really worried about that. So he ended up going into the ER, which is funny because it was happening all day this day. And then when he went to the ER, it didn't happen again. It hasn't happened again. Um, the boys got their second COVID vaccine. There was car drama, fight me, the joint. Oh, I had neck pain this week. Um, yeah, it was just like a bad week, but also like some good things happened too. So that was fun, fun, fun in my feelings. I don't remember what happened this day, but maybe we were all sick. Yeah, it was just, it was just not a fun week. Not a fun week. Then we move into be me being sick. So, and everyone was sick this week. So, sick AF. Um, the boy's first day at, like, daycare and then, like, kindergarten. He started kindergarten a couple weeks later. Um, but, yeah, lots of, of uh, being sick here. I think I was sick. I don't know. There was just a lot of being sick in here because Nick was sick. I was sick. The boys were sick. Everyone was sick. But this spread, so I ended up switching this one out, too. Because this is the, um, this is exclusive art and it is, I think it's called like, is it called sick week or under the weather maybe question mark? Um, 
but I love this. I paired it with um, Lavender Hollow and Hollow, which is apparently a favorite combo of mine. This was just silver and there was like some luxe elements in there. Um, but I love this combo together and I did this with the, um, I think it's called Sparkle question mark, but it's so pretty with this kit. And this is really nice. I, I knew I wanted to have like a sick kit. I didn't realize I would use it quite so soon, but we love her. This was a mystery kit. I don't remember if it was like August, July may mystery something like that and i love the colors of it i didn't like go to a lake house or anything but i thought this would be really 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 cute i think i use it for amanda's birthday week is this amanda's birthday week yeah because amanda gives me very like lake house energy but we were still sick um this was when theo oh this was when theo um he had this rash it was a horrible rash I actually showed my sister-in-law the other day, like, the picture of his rash, I didn't show her, and she was like, oh my god, I've never seen anything like that, that is so terrifying, but basically, he had an ear infection this week, and Bennett is allergic to amoxicillin, and we didn't know if Theo was or not, we're just gonna assume Lila is too, because I don't want to do this anymore, but it was the second time having amoxicillin, and he had serum-like sickness, which can kind of show up in different ways but it's mostly a rash and he had a rash that was purple on his stomach it was he had a rash all over his body his whole his whole body was swollen we had to put him in like Bennett's old shoes like he didn't fit his shoes his face looked like he like was stung by 17 bees he had this rash that was purple like actually like almost like a little bit darker than this color purple all over his stomach like this big and he's a two-year-old um but it was it was nuts this week he didn't this day didn't even have it but then he had it like or there like there wasn't I don't remember what the deal was he had a rash and then it got really bad this day we did telemedicine I went to urgent care he went to the children's hospital because it wasn't getting any better and it was an allergic reaction on top of it so it was a whole thing he went to the doctor again this day lots of cuddles he had to go to the doctor every day then for shots every day in his legs because he still had an ear infection the medicine wasn't working and he still had that rash and was swollen allergic reaction it was a whole thing so I was basically hanging out with Theo all this week. This week I did do a mixed metal. This inspired me ordering the mixed metal of Lavender Hollow Gold Hollow that I did. It's in the confetti format and I love it so much. This is also, this was exclusive art. This was exclusive. I was like, I mean, besides the Caress Press one, all exclusive art so far. But this is a mystery kit. It will come back this year and I believe it was maybe April or May. I don't really know. They all really blend together at some point. Actually, when you do them so far ahead, I'm like, I don't really know. But I love this. I did use Planahanna underlays in the um, Gold Hollow Mermaid Scales with the Lavender Hollow underneath in the regular Bougie. This one is just silver. I'm, I'm really bad at I'm really bad at uh, flip throughs, y'all. But this one is just kind of like Theo getting over being sick and just chillaxing. Then this was Bennett's first week of kindergarten which is totally totally wild to me that he is in kindergarten I used the hello class which is also exclusive art I think I did I reformat this I might have not totally sure but I did use some plan hand underlays in like these letters and got some custom quote boxes and I just think it turned out so cute then there was this art which is golden woods by kittenish Jess and this is not exclusive art but it's so pretty I needed to use it I actually didn't even start watching Rings of Power this week. It is the week that it came out. But then the next week, I really wanted to use this for Hannah's birthday. So I decided just to keep this here. But I thought this turned out so beautiful. I did use the gold champagne lights mixed metal in the sh 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 shimmer. And I used Planahan underlays in the um, butterflies in gold with champagne lights bougie boxes underneath. This year, I was just very much so hanging out with Nick. Um, Nick got his tat what part of his tattoo this day. Um, we, hold on, wait, 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 wait. I went to Hannah's this day. We went downtown. We had our first little, like, staycation where we're just trying to do, like, overnight things with us. And I think this was the first one. And we hadn't done anything overnight alone in six years. So, very, very excited for that. Well, like five and a half years. So very excited to do that. I guess it's five because, um, I mean, 
but it was my belly so does it really count no so we're gonna say five and a half years but this is the first time we decided we need to do more often just for ourselves and then this week was the week of Hannah's birthday and I decided to use the Aloha Mora kit this was the best-selling kit last year and this also is exclusive art I love it so 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 much and if you love this you need to check out Dark Mark which I'm going to probably use for Hannah's birthday next year but I think this turned out so cute I used some of the um, Harry Potter doodles from our shop as well under the doodle section and I am just obsessed with this spread it's so 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 pretty then this week we're moving into spooky spreads it was three weeks till Disney this is exclusive art this is um, the like scream kit and I did use the maroon foil from Planet Hannah along with some black foil from me and I think it turned out so, 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 so pretty. I love it so much. And I think this was our first, our first movie night. So cute. We watched Handmaids though, but it turned into movie night. Then I have this kit, which is Zombina, which I love this kit so much. I did use three different checkered underlays from Planet Hannah. I used the purple hollow, blue hollow, and pink hollow. And I think it matched perfectly with the black bougie on top and I also pulled in some caress press foil as well both of these are from caress press and I think this turned out so stinking pretty with the sparkly hollow and I just love how colorful it is um did I think two weeks to Disney before or maybe it was two weeks so we went on our where did I say two weeks oh one month till Disney three weeks till Disney two weeks till Disney yeah, I just love this thing. It's so, so, so pretty. One of my favorite spreads for sure. The next one here is a reformat. And I don't remember what this is called. It might be like Spooky Night. And I don't think I used it when it initially came out. But I just wanted to use it. And I used it with a, I think it was a crust press like orange foil bundle. And then Planet Hannah bat underlays. And I think it turned out so pretty. I love this one so much. So this was kind of, again, more the start of Spooky Season. And then if we move into here, we were in Disney World this week. Well, we were in Disney World these days and then the next week. But I knew I wanted to use like another Disney Halloween kit. And this is kind of where I was playing around with, you know, moving the days around. We did so much on Sunday that I decided to make it two days, which I think worked out really nice. Got to use the tall boxes. It was kind of like, like a tall box or a sidebar on this side. But it just had more things that we did. We got a lot done this day. Um, but yeah, this was just a really fun week. The week before Bennett's birthday, week before we went, well, I guess the week we went to Disney. And then this was the week of Bennett's fifth birthday. I initially wanted to use the spooky, it's like the spooky magique. Actually, I need to leave. I'll be back. Okay. So, for y'all, that was like a second. For me, that was a couple of hours. So, I don't remember where it was. But this was the week of Bennett's fifth birthday. I was going to use the Spooky Magique, but I just figured I'd probably go to Disney during Halloween another time in my life. But I don't think I was going to go, or I didn't think I was going to go during the 50th and be able to use the 50th kit. So, I wanted to make sure I used this. I used a ton of extenders. Like, how fun is this and this again was Bennett's fifth birthday which is also super special so we have Bennett with a five on top and then we have Bennett's fifth birthday with a little five there which is so cute let me zoom you in because this is this is probably one of my favorite spreads ever so cute happy birthday Bennett and it's just such a beautiful spread and this I did a mixed metal and I did manual mixed metal of the Mickey heads again um, of hollow and sparkly hollow and then I used the shimmer hollow and sparkly hollow and a bunch of other stuff I have it all linked in the plate with me all of these videos I'm pretty sure right yeah all of these videos have played with me so if you want to watch them um I actually didn't put my Christmas countdown in here <laughs> we'll get to that um this was Bennett's birthday party week and for this week we did a recolor of this was oh I didn't mention this is exclusive art this is exclusive art and also this is exclusive art this is a recolor or no this is the original version of level up or is it the recolor it's the recolor yeah it's the recolor the original version was Avery's 
which is in my last flip through and that was the pastel version and then Jess went ahead and recolored this for me because she's amazing and this is in the like bright rainbow color and did this for Bennett so it's kind of cool I have both of them in the same year love it and then I did add some like Minecraft overlays from Planet Hannah, pixel underlays from Planet Hannah. I have the mixed metal rainbow and sparkly rainbow shimmer, which is sold out. But I will bring something like maybe when I do twinkle or something like that, I'll bring back rainbow and sparkly rainbow. I might have in confetti to release. I'm not sure. We have some Planet Hannah overlays, like I said. It's just such a pretty spread. And I love this with the rainbow. Again, this was Bennett's birthday party week. Love this spread. Then we're moving into Halloween, which I did another one of those weeks where um, I did eight days in the week and omitted the sidebar so that I could put Halloween in this week. Um, mostly because I didn't want to do another Halloween spread just to have Halloween on Monday. So I did use a Crest Press. Is this a Crest Press kit? Yeah, right? Yeah, Crest Press kit this week. And I just love the colors of this. I think I might have, did I buy this this year or last year? I'm not sure. But I love it. And I didn't use date covers because I needed Monday to Monday. And I used the like matte ones from the shop. And then I did the like I did do like a another manual mix metal of hollow and magenta hollow. I have to burp. And I like did la like layer things and use different foils. And I used black bougie. But I did that in hollow with the date dots. I think it looks really, really cute. I love how long this day is because it is like the faux sidebar because it's the extra day. Halloween didn't do anything crazy. We ended up not even going trick-or-treating just because it was a crazy day. So many things going on already. My kids also go to bed really early. Like my kids love to sleep and are like mad, mad and not happy people when they don't have a lot of sleep. So yeah, didn't want to interrupt that, that vibe whenever we already had a crazy busy day. Then I love this kit and I did color block it, which I don't color block very often, but I think this looks fantastic. Another manual mixed metal with these Christmas trees. I feel like that was my move this year. I have some mixed metal locks, which is in the shop, mixed metal twinkle, which I don't think is in the shop. I think that might've been old format, not totally sure, but I love this set because last week had eight days, this day only had, this only had five days. So we have two sidebars, which I think really works out if you want to use a lot of boxes anyways. But super cute. Love it. I love these colors. I love the dark colors. I always say dark colors with foil on top is everything. And I love the black bougie with it. Then we have another Caress Press kit. I think this might have been exclusive art to her, possibly, question mark. Not sure. But I loved it. I loved the, again, the darker colors. I did this a no foil spread. And this is the only one in my planner. I've done them in mock spreads, but I don't think I've done any in my planner in a long time. But this has no foil. It has the black overlays and the black bougie boxes. I actually did order confetti black overlay 15 millimeter, just in case you want to do. I should do confetti black headers too, just to have like a full, nice little confetti look in black. Um... But I like the way this turned out with this spread. I, the other option probably would have been either gold or silver um, or like a mixed metal, but I didn't use mixed metal here. But I think it looks really nice and clean with it just having no foil on it. And this was like November, so I was reading a lot. Tattoo appointment, chilling, doing my usual. Then we move on. I didn't even put like a little thing in the corner there. I'll have to add that later. I might have to go through and look and see if I missed any other ones too. There should be a December or no, November up here, this is November. And I love this spread as well. It is, I don't remember what it was called, holiday prep maybe, question mark. And this is gold and champagne lights. I did also mix in Hannah's sparkly gold. I don't remember exactly what she calls it. If you're wondering what those look like, I feel like they kind of look like a baby between the two. Like champagne lights is a cooler than this color, but I feel like it's like as warm as this, if that makes sense. I feel like it, they mesh together really well. So I did use the Hannah's like sparkly gold here and then also in the um, underlays with the little string lights, which I love. And then we have the mixed metal shimmer throughout along with some of the a la carte Christmas. Foil, see if there's any more things in here, but 
We did have another one of our little date nights. We did go to a concert to see Dead Mouse, which was really fun. I definitely felt like an old person. I had to date with Maddie this day, um, my normal weekly, um, what's this called? My weekly Hannah day. And then also me and Nick had a date day this day. So that was fun as well. So like a really nice, cute week. Then this is the week of Thanksgiving, which I did a Friendsgiving, Thanksgiving, whatever you want to call it. Basically, Thanksgiving's crap anyways, but I just like having a meal with my friends and family. So I did opt to do a Friendsgiving theme for my exclusive for this year. This is Exclusive Art by Candice Jess. And this was one of the top selling holiday sets this past year. Y'all loved this one. I love the colors. They're like neutrals, but like fun neutrals, I think, for nice for the fall. And then um, I, I paired it with matte bronze. So I use matte bronze, I think a confetti bundle. And then I had um, matte bronze plaid underlays from Hannah. And I think it looks really, really cute together. It's nice and subtle, but I feel like this spread just in general is a little subtle. And we were leaving this day to go on our cruise. And yeah, it was just a fun, nice little week. Then this was the week of our cruise, which was so fun. So many memories. I would love to go on a cruise again. I would really love in my lifetime. I'm sure I will, hopefully, go on a cruise with Justin Nick as well. But I would love to go on another Disney cruise in the future. I just thought it was very magical. And there it was a little stressful because... My, my Theo. My Theo was a little bit um, of a routine-based kid. He really, like like I said, my kids like their sleep, and when their sleep is messed up, Theo is sleep and eating. If his sleeper is eating messed up, he's not a happy camper, so his sleep was a little different because he just likes being at home in his big boy bed, um, and he didn't like not being at home, and he doesn't just in general like not being home when it comes to sleep. So that was the only part that was a little tricky but I feel like that won't be an issue in a couple of years um but otherwise it was really fun I really loved the whole experience the wish is a beautiful ship and we had so much fun at Castaway Key and um doing all of the different activities on board and then we actually went to Disney World we were supposed to stay for the weekend so like three days and then go home but I ended up getting really sick this day I'm not sure if it was related to the fact that I ended up having COVID or not because I was just throwing up randomly. <clears throat> but we ended up going home this day, which we did. I don't think we lost out on the flight because it was like a switch or something. I don't know, same day, whatever switch. And then um, we ended up getting refunded for the hotel, which was nice as well. But I woke up in the morning. and was like, oh, maybe I should test for COVID and... Yeah, and then I went into work because no one was in work, printed orders, and was like, well, now's my time to quarantine. So I got COVID. This is my first time getting COVID since COVID has been the thing. And for me, I feel like I got really lucky and COVID was just a really bad cough for a day and then just like a lingering cough. I wasn't like tired. I didn't feel sick. So for me, it was just annoying that I couldn't like work and do things like that. But um, then this week is gorgeous as well. So this one, I don't know if I said I did it again, a manual mixed metal. We have gold and sparkly hollow. And then I use sparkly or not sparkly hollow, gold and champagne lights. And then I did a manual mixed metal. And then I used the Planahanna underlays with the little ship wheels. I use some headers, some gold headers that are Mickey heads. I think this from might be from like the Christmas stuff might be from um, Crest Press. There's a lot of things going on here. But then we have this week and I love this combo of the matte bronze and matte or matte bronze and rose mixed metal shimmer with this kit. This kit was another top seller this year for the Christmas time and I used the brick. I thought that looked kind of cute because you have the brick in here. Something different. Probably like a underlay that I wouldn't necessarily use super often. This week was actually supposed to be this spread, but because we had COVID, we wanted to wait until, well, I had, at this point, I had COVID, so we had moved Lila's party from this day to this day, so I ended up just making an extra little birthday box for this being her actual birthday, and used this. I think it looks really cute, and for me, 
I was gonna use this for Lila's birthday, but I think that this really reminds me, this kit reminds me of Kirsten, and this was Kirsten's birthday week as well. Uh, so I think that that really worked out because, and it even worked out that this green is like, if you, th if I think of a color for Kirsten, this is the color I think of, and it ended up being that the color block day was green. So I really like that. So if it couldn't have been Lila, it's Kirsten. So we love that. So I had COVID and then Nick and Lila ended up having COVID and then Bennett and Theo didn't end up having COVID this round. So very odd, but cool. Um, Nick was like sick for like 36 hours. He just felt like poop. And then Lila had like a low grade fever and a little bit of a cough. And then that was it. Then this was the, uh, birthday party week for Lila's first birthday. This was exclusive art for her birthday. There is also like a spring anytime version of this art. If you like, like the magical theme, but don't have like a winter birthday, you could use that. But I love this so, 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 so much. I, I always forget to pull these out, these little like stroke boxes and like put them on everything. But I love the way it looks. <sighs> I'm a little congested. The mold allergy right now is intense. But this one I used the Sparkly Hollow Magical Snow along with a bunch of other different things. In the underlay department, I used the uh, Park Hopper in Sparkly Hollow, which is so beautiful. So I was really hoping to do Lila's birthday party on Saturday. We were going to do it either way, whichever way it was going to happen. If it was just going to be us or if it was going to be everybody, but we all did end up testing negative. I tested negative somewhere in earlier and then Nick ended up testing negative on Friday. He might have ended up testing negative on Thursday. But we didn't test him until Friday because I was like, let's just wait till the last minute and Lila. So am I and like I said, I was testing Theo and Bennett and they were never positive. So magical mini is so cute. I just love this so much. Lila's first birthday, which was just so cute. And then we went to Trail of Lights this day, which was really fun. We ended up not taking Lila because it was kind of late, but the boys really liked it. Um, what else? What else? What else? All the fangs. All the fangs. So one week till Christmas. Then we have Christmas week, which again, I decided to do another week where I do the eight days if you didn't watch this play with me the reason why i did the eight days is i got food poisoning on christmas i swear y'all i swear i had strep last week theo had an ear infection the week before that bennett was bennett had strep too lila has is congested nick has back problems right now he's going to the chiropractor did he go today i have to ask him i don't know if he went today or he went tomorrow i don't know but we're always a mess in this house so I used a twinkle. Well, this is like, I don't remember what this is called either. Something Christmassy. We all run out of ideas on Christmas names at some point. Um, Christmas morning or something like that. Christmas, I don't know. Christmas something. Um, and I used the gold throughout, like twinkle. I used, I think this is from Sadie Stickers, question mark, possibly. And then I used underlays from Hannah. I used the red. Is it spark it's sparkly red? um twinkly lights string lights with the gold bougie underneath again i use those matte date covers i did order them in black like just text no no foil in case you wanted to do this um with like a fun foil and then use the fun on top of it you have that option in the future but i ended up doing this because like i said i was christmas is my favorite day of the year i don't know if you know this or not but i love christmas so much and yeah I just was so sad because I woke up feeling not well I was fine this day and I woke up feeling not well and I like was trying to muster through it I didn't have a fever or anything throughout it was just throw up and then like three days later out the other end so um yeah I just I really tried to like muster through it I had this perfect like morning with the kids plan and then everyone was coming over for brunch and then everyone was coming over for Christmas dinner later and it was all planned out to be perfect starting new traditions all the things and um like the Krasinski's came over and I like made as much of the brunch as I could my father-in-law honestly made most of it I just kind of was like I need to lay down I didn't feel right and then after we did gifts I was like everyone I love y'all but I need to go. And then I went in the bathroom. I threw up. And then for the next like 12 hours, I was either trying to sleep, sleeping, or throwing up. And then continued. Continued through that day. 
And then I felt a little better this day. I was a little like, eh, meh, 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 meh. not too great. I don't think I threw up at all this day though. It was just like a ton that day. I didn't have anything left, honestly, where we were at this day. Um, so we did like a Christmas evening redo over, which was really fun. So we obviously had the Christmas morning stuff already done. And then I like tapped out, but, um, and I just felt bad. I felt bad because I didn't get to spend like Christmas with my kids. I was sick in bed. Like I, like after 11, I was like, I'm out. I felt like really guilty and bad. Obviously like they would all want to hang out with me while I'm puking. But this day I just was like, all right, let's, let's get it together. We opened gifts with Chris and Hannah. They came over and I did like a Christmas dinner. I love cooking holiday meals. I just love hosting things I don't know I just love cooking in general and then we played a bunch of games and this is kind of where we um like our game night stemmed from was this night so that's kind of fun and special um with here to slay and then I was stuck on the toilet and I was stuck on the toilet for like three days until I found um Pepto-Bismol supercharged or whatever it's called it's like ultra I don't know but that's it I also probably, so what I'll probably do here is, I did it in other planners, I take a piece of like glitter paper, like I get the ones that like don't trade, you get on Amazon, if anybody wants to know, let me know and I'll link you, and I like cut it to size and punch it, and then I'll like double side glue it here, double side glue it here, or not double side glue it here, but I'll put one on top here, and then I'll have like a glitter front and back at least to give me a little pizzazz, but that is the, that's the flip. I feel like I have more wind towards the end because it was like, more recent so I remember all the things and I feel like I feel like my life was pretty eventful in here pretty eventful lots of things there was like one boring week in there and when I say boring I just mean relaxing and then this was kind of more boring there was a couple weeks like the week I was sick we went to Disneyland uh Ben and started school etc 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 but yeah Overall, I love every single spread. I always see like tags like, oh, what's your least favorite spread? I don't have those. Like I love every single thing. Even if I'm like, oh uh, yeah, like I could have did better. Even though I, that doesn't really very like cross my mind. I'm just like, I love everything. That's what it is. I just love it all. There's not, there's not one spread I would change, do differently, nothing. I love it. It's my planner. It's my baby. I feel like this is so much time. You think about it. This is like, what is it? 52 divided by 2 is 26. And let's say I spend like an hour and a half on each planner. So that's what 60, 30, 90 minutes. Divide it by 60 minutes. Divide. I spend like 39 hours plus probably on this planner a year. Or no, just for the half. 39 hours. So like this is dedication, love, commitment. And I love every single piece of her. Even if Maybe you don't think she's beautiful. I think she's beautiful. And I just cherish these planners. So that is everything. I'll eventually get here. This was from me like doing things. Like just getting getting stuff messy everywhere. But that is everything. This is random. But you know. Just random extra stickers. So that's everything. I hope y'all like this video. And I will talk to y'all in my next one.